Ten days after its launch, Astrobotics Peregrine Moonlander ended its mission in a fiery re-entry over the South Pacific yesterday. It was the first American effort to get back to the moon in more than 50 years, but it suffered a critical fuel leak not long after liftoff. National correspondent Maya Rodriguez joins us now from Washington, D.C. with more on this. Uh, Maya, what happened here? Yeah, well, NASA officials tell us, Chris, that they are still investigating exactly why that fuel leak happened. But I got to tell you, this week there have been so many storylines in space exploration. It started with this disappointment, but it's ending with two historic missions. Three, two, one, ignition, engine full power, and the stop. The astronauts of Axiom Mission 3 are now well on their way to the International Space Station, marking the first time a completely international team of commercial astronauts will arrive at the ISS, representing Spain, Italy, and Sweden, and including Turkey's first astronaut. They're expected to dock with the station on Saturday. Wow, what a thrill. I could be happier to be here and prouder of my guys. It's just a great job all the way uphill. But for others, the week went downhill. NASA and the private aerospace company Astrobotic Technology confirmed that their lunar lander, the Peregrine, burned up as it re-entered Earth's atmosphere, ending any hopes of it being the first American lander to get to the moon in more than 50 years. In a teleconference, officials said there were lessons learned. We know we will learn from each flight as we go into the future with more and more clips deliveries as part of our Artemis initiative. There are currently seven uh, deliveries already awarded, and there'll be more in the future. But another lunar lander did make it to the moon. And after a so-called 20 minutes of terror, a Japanese lander called Sniper made a careful descent to the moon, successfully landing there, a first for Japan, though it was facing critical power issues, highlighting the challenges of space. Now, very few countries have managed to put a lander on the moon. There's the U.S., of course, and then Russia and China. India did so last year, and now Japan today joins this very elite group. But as I mentioned at the end of that story, they're having some problems. Their lander right now is running out of power. They're having mm. trouble with their solar panels, and they can't quite get them to work right now. So we're going to have to keep an eye on what happens with their mission. Okay, we're, we'll hope for the best. Maya Rodriguez uh, in Washington. Thanks for that report.